In this video, I will show you how to build this highly efficient flying machine sugarcane farm. Let's go! So one full harvest with this design or farm gives you this much sugarcane. So with one full harvest, you will get over 17 stacks of sugarcane. And that's a bit over 1000 pieces of sugarcane. And if you AFK and just lead farm on, you will get this much sugarcane in one hour. And that's over 1700 sugarcane per hour, without copper clocks or anything. Here are all the items you will need for this farm. First, let's make a rectangle that is 20 by 45 blocks. Now take out your redstone torches and go in here. Two blocks out from the side, break this line of blocks and place down some torches. Also, break this dirt below this line of blocks Place one towards down there as well. It's same thing on this side. Same thing on the opposite side. Break the blocks, place down the torches. Also below the side blocks. And then the same thing in the middle. Now take out your building blocks and fill this area all the way up. So pick one of these sides. On this side we will build the pickup system for the items. So let's go down two blocks. So one and two. Place down a double chest in here and then a line of hoppers. Always crouch while placing these, otherwise the hoppers won't connect. And then let's place down a barrel right on top of this hopper next to this chest down in here. And then place these barrels on every other block. All the way back here. On top of these barrels, some more hoppers. Once again crouch. Now behind all of these hoppers, let's place down some comparators. One behind each one of these. Behind them, some blocks. Also some blocks above. The comparators, repeaters, go in here. Redstone torches. and some more blocks above the torches. Now if we have a powered rail on top of this hopper, once we throw an item inside, the powered rail will turn off for a while, until this hopper is empty. And the reason why we have some barrels here is this. If we have some hoppers and throw an item, the rail won't turn off ever. So that's why we need a barrel in here. Now place a powered rail on top of each one of these hoppers. Then let's go in here, a normal rail, then 3 powered rails, 16 regular rails, then 5 powered rails. Once again, some normal rails, and then in here, 3 more rails. Connect this up with some normal rails, and once again, 3 powered rails and so on. And here at the end, power trails all the way, and then a block right on top of there. Now if we take out a hover minecart, it will go all the way back there, in here, and go back. Now let's go in here and place down some more repeaters. Place repeaters in here, all the way to reach in here. And now if you take out a lever, with this thing you can turn all of these rails off. And once you flick it again, it will turn them on. It's simple as that. And now do the exact same thing we just did here 9 more times. Starting with a regular rail, power rails, and so on. Take out your minecarts and place them in here. Turn the lever on, turn it off, and here goes the minecarts. Now place some blocks above here, go one block out, and then go all the way back in here. Same thing on this side, one block out. Three more blocks in here, same in here, 
one, two, and three, and then connect on this side. Fill it up with some more blocks of your choice. All right. Now let's do the same thing on this side. So place your block on top of this rail, and then also on the sides. Same thing on this side, here, here, and here. And once again, connect it all the way on this side, and two more blocks here. So four in total. And now fill it all the way up. Let's go in here, on top of the rails. One row of grass, dirt, or sand. Do the same thing on this side, also on top of the last rail. Now take out some stairs. You can use any stair you have at hand, it doesn't matter. Place them down in here. Inside these stairs, you will place down some water. Alright, amazing. Now take out some more grass, dirt or sand. And place one more row in here. Then leave one gap and place a new row. Same thing once again. Leave one block apart. Place two more rows of grass, dirt or sand. Now as you can see, you have a place to plant down our sugar cane. Now take out your water pocket or water buckets. Go here. Make yourself an infinite water source. It's simple as that. From here you can refill your water pockets. Now let's go in here and first let's water lock these stairs. Same thing on this side. And now, the scary part, you need to place the water buckets above these rails. Okay, now the water is down, and that looks super nice. Now we just need to make the flying machines, which are actually quite simple. Believe it or not, you will see them soon. I mean, right now. Now let's place two blocks in here, almost the middle. So it needs to have 11 blocks on this side and 10 blocks on this side. Now we can break this block. And on top of here, let's place a obsidian block. We can also use a furnace or any other immovable block in this game. Then on top of here, let's place one block for now, an observer on top. And now let's break this block. Let's take out some more building blocks, place them here. Let's place a repeater in here, going four ticks. A lever goes here, redstone dust. Two pieces of redstone dust go here, and then a piece them above on top here. Now if this observer gets a update, that piston will activate. Quite slowly, which is important. Let's flick this lever on, don't touch it yet. Let's place a piston, a sticky piston in here, some slime blocks all the way on this side. Right at the end, let's place a glass block right in here. Now in here, let's place another sticky piston, like so, exactly like this. And once again, some more slime, and at the end, here, let's place a glass block. And on these spots, here and here, we will place some observers pointing up. So face up. But let's not do that yet, just in case, because we don't want this flying machine to escape. Now take out your obsidian block and go here. Right behind his piston. And then turn around and go on a straight line and place your obsidian right in here. One block from the ground. Now if this flying machine starts flying in this direction, this obsidian will stop it, and that's amazing. Now let's place down your observer in here. One block here, here, and in here. Once again, your repeater, redstone dust, and a piston. Repeater with four ticks, redstone dust, and a piston. Also a lever. Don't activate the lever yet. Okay, so now let's go in here, place down a block above here, place the observer pointing up, and the observer pointing up on this piston, like so. And once I break these blocks, nothing will happen. 
monster flick this lever. Look at that. Now we have a flying machine that actually flies in Minecraft. That's crazy. Here it comes. Stops here. And this thing here will send it back. I go on this side that has your chest and this redstone stuff and flick this lever on for now. This will stop the flying machine. So just take out your sugarcane and plant it on top of this dirt or grass or sand. And now it's time for the walls to go up. You can use glass or you can use any building block you have at hand. But I myself like to use glass. Let's go all the way up here, four blocks up. And do the same thing on the sides and also on the back right there. Then one last thing. It depends on how you want to use this farm, and this next part is up to you. Right now this farm will go on forever. But if you leave the chunks, or unload the chunks, this flying machine can break, and we don't want that. So one option for you is this. Take out a block, a redstone torch, and a button. Break this one. And now, this farm will only activate once you click this button. But if you like to AFK for like overnight, then using a lever is your option. But anyways, that's how you make a super simple and highly efficient sugarcane farm for Minecraft 1.18. My name is Cayman, thank you for watching, and hey, please consider subscribing. It will be amazing if you did. And more videos coming soon, as always. I don't even know what to say. See ya.